Colombia, where President Juan Manuel Santos has won a re-election in one of the country's closest presidential races in years. Paul, despite concerns of rising crime and unemployment, it looks like peace was the most important issue in this campaign. That's right, Chetty. Santos ran on a platform of continuing controversial peace talks with the leftist FARC rebels. It's a conflict that's been waged for over half a century, claiming the lives of over some 200,000 people, mostly civilians. With nearly all the votes counted on Sunday, Santos emerged victorious with nearly 51% of the vote, while his challenger, Oscar Ivan Zuluaga, gained 45%. The National Election Council said that 47 percent of the country's eligible voters cast ballots. Zulu Aga and his Democratic Center Party have fiercely opposed any meetings with the rebels unless they laid down their weapons. Today's message is also for the FARC and the ELN, and the message is clear. This is the end of more than 50 years of violence in our country and the start of a new Colombia with more liberty and more social justice. A Colombia in peace. Colombia, however, remains deeply divided. Many Colombians are outraged that FARC leaders were given amnesty and even allowed to hold public office as part of a peace settlement. Meanwhile, a FARC spokeswoman in Havana said the rebels had no comment on the election results. Chetty? All right, Paul, thank you very much for those stories, and we'll see you back in just about two hours.